steady when you are, Mark. Afternoon, Chris. Hi, right, you go. Yeah, good, thank you. 18 months of scouting, monitoring, watching, a series of failed bids over three transfer windows, but finally, this week, you became an AFC Bournemouth player. What did it mean to you? Yeah, it meant a lot. Like you said, it was it was a long process. Um, obviously, the last couple of windows, the club tried to come in and Brentford weren't really in a position to sell. Um, but yeah, delighted to have got it over the line this time and I'm really pleased to be here. How frustrating was it for you having to focus on Brentford and keep playing your football, knowing that there was a, a Premier League club watching you and, and desperate to sign you? Yeah, it's hard, but I've got to focus on what I can control. Obviously, a lot of it's happening behind me and behind the scenes so it was important that I carried on applying myself in the right way and carry on playing matches because ultimately that's what's got me where I am now so I think it obviously is hard when you go on social media and you see stuff being um, with your name being linked to Bournemouth and maybe some other teams but um, like I said it's just important for me to control what I can control and I try to do that to best best of my ability. Bournemouth came in for you very early on in your career you've only played a handful of games for Brentford what was that like so early on? Yeah, it was massive and obviously the step up to the first team in itself is like a big thing and then obviously when you're, when you're being linked to a Premier League team um, after such a like, short period of time, it's obviously big. But like I said, I think the first time round it was important for me to carry on playing games because I was obviously very inexperienced at that point. I think I only had eight or ten games to that point so I had a lot to develop and a lot more to learn. So. I think it was important for me to carry on my football um, and then obviously this time around I've had a lot more games, I feel more experienced, I feel ready for the step up so I think this time definitely suited me a lot better. There was interest from your old boss in Dean Smith and, and Aston Villa uh, as well as two or three other clubs that were linked with you as well over the course of this window. Why was Bournemouth the right move for you and the right option? Um, obviously a Premier League team is a massive factor for it, obviously Villa are a championship team so Obviously, I want to test myself at the highest league possible and um, Bournemouth gives me the opportunity to do so. And I think um, because of the interest over a long period of time, obviously, they've been there for the last two windows. It To me, that means a lot and it shows that the club have put their faith in me multiple times and after the first time, they could have turned their attention to someone else, but they obviously believe in me as a player. So it was nice um, for that. But yeah, I think ultimately, obviously, working under... Eddie Howe in itself is a massive thing and joining the Premier League team as well. How impressed have you been with, with Eddie? What did he say to you to convince you that this was the right option for you? I think he just said that it's a great um, great opportunity for me to showcase myself, like I said, at top level. Um, he was very complimentary towards me as a player and he feels like I've got the personality to adapt well to this group. And, um, and yeah, I think just for what he's done at the football club is obviously massive and for me, like... I had no doubt and I was really looking forward to get, get started. What do you know about Bournemouth and their history? Um, I know where they started, obviously. They've come through leagues really quickly and that's all credit to obviously the team. Um, and obviously, Eddie was a massive part of that, so, yeah. And obviously, in terms of your career, Brentford have, uh, have done a great deal for you and your progression through the academy into the first team. Dean Smith, obviously, chucked you in at the deep end as well. You, you made your debut just down the road at, at Eastleigh, so you're probably very grateful for what they've given you in terms of your career as well. Yeah, massively. I can't thank them enough for what they've done. Um, it's been a massive couple of years and I've loved every minute of it at Brentford. Um, and there's so many people that I have to thank. Obviously, Robert Rowan, who died recently, was obviously massive as well um, in terms of all the behind the scenes work that he was trying to sort of push me in. and. Um, he was liaising with Dean Smith on a regular basis to try and push me up and yeah I've got a lot to thank the club for because when no other teams were giving me the opportunity to um, to impress Brentford were there and they gave me gave me the opportunity and I wouldn't be where I am now if it wasn't for them so definitely a lot to thank them for and I'm sure they'll do well in the future as well What would you have said if someone had said to you a couple of years ago when you made your de uh, bre uh, debut for Brentford that a Premier League side would be paying £12 million for you? I wouldn't have believed it, uh, definitely wouldn't have. Um, it seems not too long ago that I was playing North Green for reserve, so it does show um, how far I've come. And like I said, I've got a lot of people to thank for that. Um, obviously, Brentford being massive in that. Um, but yeah, I'm really fortunate and I'm grateful for the opportunity that I've been given by different people and different clubs. For the Bournemouth fans that know, don't know too much about you, what type of a player and defender are you? Um, I like to think I'm very composed on the ball, um, which obviously suits the way that um, Bournemouth play. Um, obviously, a lot of possession-based football, and I like to think I'm 
Um, very comfortable in possession. Um, I don't want to big myself up too much, but yeah, I think that's definitely the uh, main strengths of mine on the ball. And um, I like to think I'm good at playing through lines and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard, obviously, with a step up, and I've already found the intensity really, really high. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot to, a lot of errors I need to develop, but definitely I feel com- confident in my own ability, and I feel confident I can improve under Eddie. And you've had a few training sessions now with the mates of the other lads and the setup. Yeah, the boys have been excellent. Um, sums it up really with the club that I think on the day I signed, I got a text that evening from um, Simon Francis, and he just gave me a like a welcome message and just said like the light that I've signed, and he feels like I'd adapt really well to the group, and I think that in itself just shows shows what sort of people you've got associate with the club like good people good professionals and yeah the boys have been really good and made me feel really welcome and a familiar face in, in David Bruce someone you know from international duty and Wales of course how many texts and calls did you have with him over the period of time between all the showing an interest and you eventually signing yeah I had a couple um, definitely when it looked like a deal was close to happening I sort of gave him a text and just said if you don't mind give me a phone call and just talk things through and he picked up the phone and just spoke to me and he couldn't speak highly enough about the club and he said that his development has been massive since he's come here and he's he's developed a lot, not only going forward but defensively as well. Um, and yeah, I think it took him by surprise how many games he's played and I'm hoping to have the same sort of same sort of progression. And I guess your target now is, is next week. Chelsea at the Vitality, Premier League, is, is that your target to be in amongst the squad? Yeah, of course. Um, like I said, I can only focus on what I can control and I've just got to make sure that my attitude and application is good every day and um, and the rest will look after itself. But it will definitely be a good opportunity on on Wednesday if I'm involved. So. Are you excited at this new challenge you have? Yeah, very much so. Um, I didn't think the Premier League opportunity will come this soon, but fortunately it has and I can't wait to um, hopefully get some get some minutes as soon as possible. Yeah, it's very exciting. I think since I was a since I was a little boy, my dream was playing the Premier League, and I think there's no better way than to showcase it against them top players and see where you're at. Like I said, I know it's going to be hard. Um, I mean, playing in the Championship, you come across some very good strikers, and I'd imagine the step up to the Premier is going to be ten times harder. So it's something that I need to work hard towards. And but yeah, I'd obviously love playing against people like that every week. Um, I'd say Alexandra Mitrovic when we played Fulham away last year um, we had a good result that game we got a late equaliser but he was a real handful um, very strong very aggressive and yeah I think he's probably the hardest I've come up against and you've also had quite a lot of experience with, with top level players you know, as well you've had Bale and Ramsey you've played against Chris Harris now the Denmark has that given you an idea of the kind of thing Yeah, definitely. I mean, Denmark and even Mexico, which was my first uh, start, albeit friendly, but you're sort of marking Javier Hernandez, who's got tons of Premier League experience, and that was a very good test to see where I was, and I like to think I came through it well. We didn't concede that game, so that was definitely a good taste of what I could be coming up against, and yeah, I want to come up against them sort of players every week. Did did you speak to Ryan Giggs about the move? No... No, I haven't. I haven't spoke to him at all. Um, I think he spoke to my agent recently, just um, wishing all of us like well done on the on the deal. And I think it's going to be good for him as well. Obviously, being a national team manager, he'd want as many players playing in the Premier League as possible. So, yeah, but I haven't heard from him. Okay, cameras off, please.